And now, Mega Man joins the battle. Maintaining his NES look was a top priority. I'm not going to have just any character participate from other companies, but he's definitely in a class of his own. The Mega Man in Smash Brothers doesn't punch or kick a lot. The only real punch is the Mega Upper. Used in Marvel vs. Capcom, it's like a Shoryuken. Instead, he'll use the Mega Buster, his normal move. He can use it while walking and jumping. He can also use the Charge Shot, which is a smash attack. The more you charge, the stronger it gets, of course. His sliding and rush coil are other mobile attacks. But the biggest feature is definitely the variable weapon system. Mega Man has a variety of moves that he gets from each of the bosses in the series. In his normal and special attacks, he can use a part of those bosses. The metal blade can be thrown in eight directions. You can also pick it up as an item. The crash bomber is a time bomb that can be attached to fighters. An item called a gooey bomb appeared in the previous version, and just like that, you can attach it to an opponent. The top spin is a spinning attack. The hard knuckle has a meteor effect. Watch out for that one. The Slash Claw and Flame Sword are air attacks. The Leaf Shield will protect you, and you can also throw it. The Spark Shot and Flame Blast will morph his hands to the Mega Buster, but he needs to vent it out, since he will overheat when he uses both hands. He's turning out to be one of the more unique characters in Smash Bros. I hope you like it.